not be proud of the players that were on the pitch, but also it does be a game that's going to impact you for weeks to come, maybe? Um, yeah, look, it's, it's sort of hard to kind of analyse from a football perspective. Um, you're kind of left with the result, which is obviously disappointing, and you know that's you, know, you don't like to lose, particularly here at home. You know, super proud of the players' efforts and will and desire and determination to get still get something out of the game. Um, and like I said, and then there's obviously the you know, the fallout from it from from our perspective, personnel-wise, which you know I guess we'll we'll deal with in the coming days. <clears throat> Is there any? No, I mean, look, yeah, again, it's too early, but <coughs> looking at Mickey, you, you think it's a pretty significant one, so, you know, I'd assume he'll be out for a little while. Matt has, you know, got a knock on the ankle. Um, we'll just have to assess, see how he is. And you've been very, uh, a lot of praise for Romero this season, his leadership, his frustrations, Matt, his No, it's just, you know, he's, he's a physical guy that's part of his um, strengths, and, uh, yeah, today it was deemed he went. Uh, he went too far. You know, just got to cop it. Uh, I think it was um, when the linesman sort of didn't put his flag up when I thought he was closing down Vic and he was offside. And I think I went outside my technical area, which is fair enough. No, but I think it's going to become the norm. <clears throat> I think it's where the game's heading. I think it's unfortunately um, how we're going to have to, you know, um, sort of watch and participate in football <clears throat> from now on because, look, I've said it before, I don't like it. I don't like the standing around. I don't like the the whole sort of, theatre around, you know, waiting for decisions. Um, but I, I know that I'm, I'm in the wilderness of that. I'm, I'm kind of on my own. That In my 26 years, I was always prepared to ref accept the referee's decision, good, bad or otherwise. And I've had some shockers in my career, let me tell you, and I've had some go my way as well. But I'd cop that because I just wanted a, the game to be played. But when we're complaining about decisions every week, this is what's going to happen. People who's going to forensically scrutinise everything to make sure that they're comfortable it's right, and even at the end of that, we're still not happy. So what does that mean? Well, that means that we're going to see a lot of standing around. And I, I just think it's just diminishing the authority of the referee. You, know, you can't tell me that referees are in control of the game now. They're not. The control is outside of that so but that's the way the game's going so um you kind of have to accept that um and uh you know just try and deal with it uh, well I, I i don't know I, but but it seems like there isn't you know um a great call for us to go back to accepting the referees' decisions for the majority. I mean, I understand goal line technology because that's like that's a simple one. That, that came in and no one's complained about it. But in searching for this, you know, like I said before, utopia of where there is no wrong decisions in a game that doesn't exist. It'll never will. So, but that's the road everyone wants to go down. And like I said, some of it's self-inflicted because we all complain about decisions every week. That's not new. We've been complaining decisions. Like I said, I've been doing this for 26 years. Oh, you know, the, I've heard managers and me included complain about decisions in the past, but we got on with it. We, we didn't feel the need to, you know, find some miracle cure for it. Now, like I said, I, I, I don't think that that's a viable option because we're, we, we seem to have opened that door, allowed technology, you know, now we want transparency, you know. I guarantee you the next thing is we'll have referees mic'd up and explaining decisions. There's plenty of other sports you can watch referees do that. I don't think it's about football. But anyway, it's, um, like I said, I think I'm in the wilderness for that one. Do you think uh, that the Premier League managers should get together through the LMA and try and 
teach referees how to referee a game? See, that's the problem. That's the problem. Premier League managers should just manage their football clubs. I've never, and I never will, talk to a referee about the rules of the game. I was taught that you grow up and you respect the officials. You know what managers do? I'll tell you what managers do, me included. We try and find ways to bend the rules, to get around them. Tell me what the rule is, and I guarantee you'll have a room full of managers processing how can I get around this. They're not the, we're not the right people. And I get that people keep saying that. I don't agree with it. What I want is the best officials, always being upskilled to officiate the game. But I, I, I think it's so hard for a referee to, to, to officiate these days. Their, their authority is just constantly getting diminished. I just, I just don't know how... Like, like I said, I used to be... I grew up afraid of referees. They'd be like policemen, you know? But nowadays, I guess we talk back to policemen as well, so maybe it's just... Like I said, I'm old school, mate, so I'm, I'm, I'm of a bygone era, and I just love the purity of the game, but that's not what's going on. And I've got... It, part of this is my problem. I've got, to, I've got to embrace it and find a way to, to work with it, but it goes against everything I want to try in my team. I, I, want, to, I want my team to play fast, attacking, high-tempo, go out at football. If we get a red card and it's a penalty against us, so what? Let's cop it, let's go again. But then we have to stand around for... Two minutes to figure out whether something was offside or not. Let lines make decision. Remember, it used to be the benefit of the doubt. Do we all remember that? To the striker, we all lived with it. Didn't didn't the game didn't collapse? But like I said, I'm I'm like an old man shouting at the clouds, mate. And you know, I'll, I'll get I'll I'll cop it for that. But uh, that's that's who I am. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank, Thank you. you.